their progress with David Fordham. The race. Here we are back at the uh, individual road race. We've had around about 24 minutes uh, gone so far. We're heading up towards the finish of the first lap. And the pace has been uh, reasonably solid. We've seen uh, the French champion, Ginny Longo, just at this stage quite content. Oh, there's been a fall there on the right. Who's come down? We'll try and pick up that who it is. It appears that that could be the St. Maria Cannons of Italy, is it? The 36. We'll have to get a check on that at the moment. If that is, that is uh, for the field still very bunched at this stage. And uh, we're heading up towards the end of the first lap. Now we see now that uh, one of the French girls has made the move, and that's uh, Catherine Marsal, one of the teammates of the favourite for this race, Virginie Longe, the screen there. And the battle is on. That's uh, Barbara Gans, as we noticed, of Switzerland. The two French girls there as well. The French girls have been doing a lot of work for Ginny Longo. They've been uh, moving across the brakes. They've been negating any attacking move, just making sure that the race has stayed intact, which on this uh, uh, pretty flat course, and it's also a very fast, hot mix road, which uh, also makes it a lot easier. It means that uh, with the uh, sort of work that the French girls have been doing, it's almost ensured that there's going to be a bunch uh, sprint, which is what we're heading to any moment now. Well, the race has been going exactly two hours at this stage, and uh, there's plenty of pedal power there at the moment as they push towards the finishing line. It's still a very bunched field. The only one that's dropped off was Petra Rosner of East Germany, who had a fall just before the end of the first lap. And they're really moving now. The Australian girls are in there to have a real show. They have got to be up the front of this bunch. It's impossible to come from uh, a long way back, and they've got to be near the front of the field. Well, racing towards the finishing line. It's a bunch sprint. It's a bunch sprint. Who's going across? I think it's the uh, the girl from Switzerland in Barbara Gans. We'll get the confirmation of placings in a moment. But uh, a tremendous finish. It was anybody's race as they went towards it. And uh, you'll see the winner coming up on the left of our picture in a moment. Unfortunately, the Australian girls left themselves too far back in the field. As I said, in, it is important in uh, bunch sprinting to be right up the front. And uh, the three Australian girls are about in 10th and 12th position there in the white colours. And they left themselves too far back. Well, here's the, uh, the finish of the race. They're coming across the line now. And I think it is Barbara Gans of Switzerland who is the winner. We'll pick up her number in a moment. It's a Dutch girl, I think, David, you'll find. Well, it could well be the, uh, the girl that went through. She was there right throughout the race. And she's uh, followed by a West German and a Russian in third position. It's a bit hard.